Well, hey there, friends. It's Wes here, Mr. Movie Night, back once again. It's been a long time since I've done an update, and I apologize. I thank all of you that have, you know, checked out my channel and uh, commented on my videos and continue to support me and uh, have not unsubscribed. I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, thank you so much to everybody who just, uh, you know, has given me so much support. And, uh, I, you know, I enjoy doing videos. I'm sorry I haven't done one in a while. But it's time for an update. I got a good, massive update here uh, to get through. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Yeah, I'm actually going to start off with um, a cool laser disc pickup. And actually, I got this off of eBay. This is a fire starter. Um, actually signed by Drew Barrymore some type of uh, sort of a blue like grease paint pen here um, looks like legit signature I don't know for sure I didn't get her to sign this myself obviously um, but you can see where it's kind of smeared a little bit here um, and uh, I've compared it to other samples online it looks legit uh, got a good deal on this it says spread the sunshine and she signed it there and I'll show you a little closer it was filmed in Wilmington North Carolina which is uh, close to where I lived uh, growing up and uh, I've actually toured those studios before which now I'm not sure who owns them but a uh, cool little film uh, 1985 um, so the uh, laser disc is in good shape the the cover as you can see is a, is a little bit uh, you know torn here and kinda there's obviously some edge wear the disc is in immaculate shape uh, I'm not gonna take the disc out but again I just wanted to show you that so that's Firestarter um, I like this cover art and uh, signed by Drew Barrymore, which is even better. Still got a few more laser discs coming in, and hopefully I'll do another update with those uh, here in the near future. I've ordered a few more. I've kind of backed off a little bit on them, but um, I do still have them, you know, steady trickling in as I see good deals and you know awesome cover art and just uh, you know some of the nostalgia and all that's uh, on those. All right, I'm going to go to some DVDs now. I went to Walmart yesterday, and they had some pretty cool deals on some of these TV sets. I'm going to start with one I saw on Kakalaki Movies channel and this of course is the uh, Buck Rogers in the 21st Century the complete epic series. Now this is a $10 box set right now at Walmart if you can find it. It has uh, 29 hours the complete Buck Rogers saga here. Um, it's got this cool kind of a you know plastic slip case. Uh, the discs of course are double sided but kind of a uh, digi pack fold out type packaging here nice artwork uh, 10 bucks uh, cheesy show you know Aaron Gray from uh, Silver Spoons was in it uh, Gil Gerard Buck Rogers and of course the you know famous Twiggy or whatever I think his name pick it up if you can find it great deal I saw this also this was like uh, I think this was either five or ten bucks and this is the airport terminal pack now this is really cool packaging it's kinda got a matte finish with sort of a, a sheen to it um, it's a uh, digipack, a digipack here, and what it has, it has all the airport films, um, which I have not even seen, I don't believe. Um, so, and again, the films are listed right here. So you got airport, airport 75, airport 77, the Concord airport 79, and uh, looks like a cool set, uh, cheap. Like I said, I haven't seen these films. These airline disaster movies are fun, so I thought I would, uh, you know, take a look at those. Finally, I love this show as a kid. I don't know why I didn't already own it, uh, but they had it for 10 bucks. And this is the complete first season of The Incredible Hulk. Now this has a lenticular cover, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but they're in these slimline cases here. Um, this is 11 hours. Um, I started watching some of it last night, and uh, it's such a great show. Um, I guess a little cheesy in a way, but uh, I thought it was thoroughly entertaining, and I look forward to uh, checking out this entire first season again. Probably the one that I would have seen more when I was younger, and I used to watch it on primetime. So, boy, that really dates me there, but I'm pretty sure I watched it on primetime along with, like, Wonder Woman and Dukes of Hazard and Chips and all those shows, you know. All right, so that's the uh, DVDs there, Laserdisc I showed you. Um, I'm going to get into the Blu-rays right quick because I got quite a few Blu-rays. Some of you guys have already seen these quite a bit, and I'm not going to go into much detail on them. Um, I don't have, you know, tons of time to go through all of these, but I'm going to start off. Uh, I got M. Night Shyamalan's uh, Signs with Mel Gibson on Blu-ray. This film was okay. Uh, certainly, I feel that The Sixth Sense and this are probably 
his strongest films. Um, he kind of derailed after that. This is not the best film, but uh, I figured it'd look good on Blu-ray and it'd be cool. And, uh, you know, the acting is great. Just kind of a fun little alien film. So there's signs. I'm sure you guys have seen that. Um, I don't know if I showed this before. This is the Life set. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this or Planet Earth, you guys need to check it out. Probably one of the best uh, things to show off your Blu-ray collection. Um, yes, this is the one narrated by Oprah Winfrey. I realized there's a David Attenborough, and you know, when I first saw this in the store, I was kind of like, uh, Oprah Winfrey, I don't know, you know, but I really wanted to see this, and to tell you the truth, it's not that bad with her narrating. Um, fantastic visuals, just absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not going to open this whole set and go through it, but those of you who've seen Planet Earth, it's kind of like that. Uh, so it's from the makers of Planet Earth. And uh, anyway, it's fantastic, and that's life. This film is funny, Wild Hogs. I picked this up uh, fairly cheap online. I like this. I got a lot of laughs out of it. Um, Tim Allen, John Travolta, Martin Lawrence, William H. Macy, you know, and uh, I'm not going to explain much about it, but Wild Hogs, very funny. Picked this up recently. I heard the transfer was great, and that's The Natural, Robert Redford, a good baseball movie. Um, so I look forward to seeing this one again. It's been a long time. I've forgotten a whole lot about it, but um, anyway, got that cheap, and that's The Natural. Picked up one of my favorite childhood uh, sort of fantasy films, uh, right, in, right in line with uh, Never Ending Story, but this is Labyrinth with David Bowie, Jennifer Connelly. It's obviously a Jim Henson film, fantastic. I really wanted to see it on Blu-ray. I do own it on DVD, but I just had to see it on Blu-ray. Um, got a good deal on it, probably like 10 bucks or maybe even cheaper, maybe like eight bucks. Um, but just anyway, had to pick it up, Labyrinth. You guys have obviously seen it. If you've not, <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting on. You need to check it out, just phenomenal. Um, I really enjoyed this film, and that's Frozen. I picked it up on Blu-ray. Folks, uh, this was uh, one of the better uh, horror suspense thriller films I've seen in quite a while. Um, from the uh, director of Hatchet, Adam Green. Uh, very, um, very intense film. When I first saw the trailer for this, the concept, I was like, that's totally stupid, stranded on a ski lift, you know, and the place is going to shut down and forget about you. I mean, come on, you know, the, the idea is a little far-fetched, but for, for what it is, um, he really delivered on it. Um, it doesn't use a lot of CGI. It has, um, they actually filmed it in, uh, you know, on top of a, a mountain, you know, ski resort in cold temperatures. I mean, everything was legit. It was not on some sound stage and green screen. I mean, it was all the real deal. The actors went through a lot, and uh, you know, it, it really shows in their performance. But Frozen, I was very impressed with this, and just wanted to pick it up on Blu-ray. Highly recommend it. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Eraser. This is a film I've always enjoyed, um, and I just had to pick it up. It has Vanessa Williams in it. Uh, you have been erased. That's a terrible impression. But uh, anyway, it's a fun film. You guys pick it up if you haven't seen Eraser. Of course, the obligatory Toy Story 3. I picked this up um, after Christmas. I actually had not even seen it yet. I wanted to wait to see it on Blu-ray. So uh, grab me a copy. Um, I don't know that I agree this is the best one yet. Now, I've liked all three of them. They are certainly all masterpieces. Um, I don't know that I, I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was fantastic. I, don't, I just don't know if I can say that it's the best one out of all three, like some people have said. Um, still phenomenal, fun film, incredible animation. It gets even better with time for Pixar. So fantastic. Toy Story 3. Another film I had not seen until after Christmas. I picked it up on Blu-ray. This is a Star Trek uh, remake. I'm not a huge Star Trek fan. I'm fascinated by some of it, but I've never really taken the time to get into it. I'm probably more of a Star Wars geek. Um, if I had to make a choice, but you know, nothing against Star Trek. This is the J.J. Abrams um, has the uh, you know the cover with uh, Kirk and Spock. You guys have seen this all over the place uh, on YouTube. But anyway, I heard this look really good on Blu-ray. It actually does. The effects are great, and uh, I really enjoyed it. That's Star Trek. Bookhouse Boy '77 showed this the other day. I had a crappy DVD copy of this, um, which is actually a two-sided uh, flipper disc. I mean, the film actually stops. Uh, and you have to flip it over. It's the first DVD I've ever seen like that and also one of the first DVDs I got, but it's seven. And now they have this nice, beautiful Blu-ray book edition, which is fantastic. It has, um, you know, of course, you guys are familiar with these books. It has the, uh, you know, the great pictures and the, you know, film, some film uh, facts and so on and so forth in here. Uh, there's the disc. This looks great. It's an awesome uh, transfer. 
and just a phenomenal film by David Fincher, one of my favorite, uh, you know, crime scene investigation thriller films. Kevin Spacey does an amazing performance, and the ending is absolutely one of the most shocking endings I've ever seen in a film. So if you guys have not seen Seven, check it out. This is a fantastic uh, addition to get here. So if you've not seen the film, add that to your collection. Of course, who hasn't uh, seen this? I'm not going to go through this again, but this is Avatar. This is the uh, three-disc uh, extended Blu-rays collector's edition. Um, I don't love the packaging on this. It looks beautiful um, on the outside here. The inside, the way they did the disc, they're kind of in these little sleeves, and it's sort of strange. I don't like it too much. But um, actually have not watched this yet on Blu-ray. I saw it in a the theater in IMAX 3D. It was fantastic. Um, but had to pick this up. And this is, of course, like I just said, Avatar. All of you know about this. Um, but anyway, looking forward to this one. And I'm sure you know somebody online has a video showing it more in depth. I just don't want to take the time right now to do that. Another blue book I picked up a while back. And I'm not sure if I showed it. But this is the uh, Batman with uh, Michael Keaton, uh, Jack Nicholson, Kim Basinger from 1989. Uh, I love this film, a lot of fun. Again, you got one of these awesome book editions. It's got sort of a comic book inside. Uh, and there's some parts of the script there and stuff. I haven't actually read through this, but there's the disc there. Uh, excellent transfer and uh, really enjoyed this film, it's fun. Don't know if it's my favorite Batman film, but obviously, you know, Tim Burton is just phenomenal um, on his, uh, his uh, contributions to this series. So, yeah, Batman, 1989, check that one out. And finally, the other Blu-ray, and I know I'm speeding through these really quickly, folks. Um, I guess I just don't want this video to be like 15 minutes. I mean, it may already be. I don't know. But, um, anyway, Child's Play. Uh, Catherine Hicks, Chris Sarandon, of course, who doesn't know Child's Play? I've not seen this yet on Blu-ray. Um, I picked it up cheap uh, online, like seven or eight bucks. And uh, it's a fun little film. I uh, don't know that I'm a fan of the entire Chucky series. I don't really haven't seen it, so I guess I can't uh, faithfully say that. But this one's fun. Um, doesn't creep me out too much, but, you know, just a classic horror film. Um, obviously from, it's 1988. And so, yeah, Child's Play on Blu-ray. You guys uh, want to comment on any of these transfers? This actually has the DVD and the Blu-ray in it. But if you guys want to make a comment on any of these transfers, uh, feel free to do so. And, um, yeah, so... Quick one, folks. Um, sped through those. I'm sorry for uh, you know not taking more time, but just a lot to show and didn't want a you know 20, 30 minute video. Um, I've rearranged my movie room here. One of these days, I will I will show this. Uh, you can tell already tell behind me. I have my shelving differently. I've changed it yet again. I've added some stuff in here. I have another TV in here now. I have a DVD player. I have, I have another laser disc player in here. I have my PlayStation 2 hooked up books, uh, just everything all over the place, uh, just a total, you know, man cave like uh, old B Jr. from Endurance Productions. Come in here, chill out, play games, read books, watch a movie, whatever. Uh, so anyway, folks, sorry for all the rambling, but thank you so much for continuing to support me. Um, hope you enjoyed the update and uh, post comments, ask questions, whatever you want to do. And hopefully I will have uh, some new videos up fairly soon. Um, work starting to pick up, so I don't know. I'm going to do the best I can. But thanks for tuning in today. If you stuck out this whole video, I really appreciate it. And as always, I appreciate your support. I've been watching your videos on YouTube. I will continue to watch everybody's videos and comment when I can. And you folks have an awesome week and an awesome weekend. And I will see you soon. Peace.